about milkman about stay away here we are at Utoxeter Quarry in Staffordshire and despite all the uh, wonderful scenery, nature and wildlife, birds that we came here for and for a picnic I can't believe this but I have just spotted the old swans from Alton Towers I'm sure people in the 30s, late 20s to maybe the age of 40 will remember the swans from the boating lake well they've been relocated here to graze out a happy retirement in a farmer's garden lovely here's another pool it's hard to believe that the busy motorway the A50 is literally just up there and there is certainly a lot of traffic going over there but you just come into the quarry and it's a different world it really is we've seen all sorts of birds and wildlife there's four or five pools of water with resident birds such as the oyster catcher turnstones we've seen some magansas today which was a a real good spot um, it's hard to believe you wouldn't think there'd be seabirds in the middle of Utoxita but there is I've not picked up on them because to be honest this camera doesn't zoom in it gets the tremors if you zoom in too much like this as you can see so there's no point trying to take my word for it I'm not a liar but if you don't believe me come yourself and have a look you won't be disappointed Lovely. Cold water. Ah, hello there. Uh, welcome to Utoxeter Quarry, where we're just doing another little spring nature walk. Um, I don't know how many of you have been here before. Have maybe maybe you saw the Coast uh, team from BBC One with Neil Oliver. They did uh, a walk round here where Neil broke into song on the SS Douglas, which we can show you as we go past. Um, it's not going to be a long video. It's a brief video walk, but I hope you'll enjoy it all the same. So come with us and join us on a little. Quick look round Utoxeter Quarry. Excited because among, I'm crouched down here because among all the wildflowers, wild grasses, I've spotted something very rare on the floor here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. It's the rare cheesy what's it corn puff. You don't often see these in the wild, more in retail areas, so that is a thrilling spot. Cheesy puff, corn what's it, amazing baked snack. You now that beats the buzzards and the owls and everything, it pales into insignificance. A cheesy what's it. Looking much like a large daisy, surrounded by herbal-y type grass, we think this is tansy. We'll look it up when we get home. Could be wider the mark, but all the same, a pretty sight. See a spire in the distance. That is the church at Doveridge, which I used to go running to. A bit out of shape at the moment, but that's it, Doveridge. I don't know if you saw my spring ramble there. You probably didn't. Probably weren't interested. Plant working on footpath. I can't see any Led Zeppelin members anywhere. Bit of a letdown. Well, I can't quite believe that I'm stood here at the quarry um, in the spot where Neil Oliver and the team from BBC One's Coast programme, which I'm sure you've seen, actually filmed. Um, if you zoom in, this is the SS Douglas where um, Neil performed his cameo version of Just the Way I'm Feeling by Feeder, and I'm here. Very same place. It's quite quite amazing. So look how vast this lake is. And here, so many birds on this whole area. Huge. It's, it's much bigger than it ever was. So if you want to come here, see some nature, um, come to where Neil Oliver filmed Coast. 
I'm sure if you go on to YouTube and put Neil Oliver, Utopsy to Quarry Coast, you'll actually see the programme for yourselves. Um, but I'm quite thrilled to be here, so that's good enough for me. Amazing. Oh, look. Dandelion clock. A lot less monster. Nah, it's just a mohen. I say just, I shouldn't say that. I'm just a human being, aren't I? Plenty to see at the quarry. And then on this sign, uh, there's tons of signs around the quarry, but I didn't want to bore you with them all because uh, you'll think I'm um, one of these people that wants to. Um, create a group about road signs and, and I'm not but um, this is a particular warning if you were to come here yourselves beware Cliff Richards uh, he lives around here and he um, has um, something of an orange face and he, he lurks around in the bushes so this sign is to alert visitors to Cliff danger Cliff Cliff face stay away because you might jump out any time and that with that orange beam in your face it'll startle you you could roll into the bushes fall six feet down and end up into the, um, the actual water which is only down there and you might drown and then you know rot away and then birds might might peck your eyes out for dinner or something I don't know but but just just be where Cliff Richards does um, not reside here but it's one of his places that he comes for uh, relaxation but he also enjoys scaring visitors so just bear that in mind Cliff Richards does uh, luckily he's not about at the moment I'm sure I'd see a hint of orange in the bushes somewhere with perhaps a tennis racket in one hand and microphone in the other ready to spoil your day it is a natty little feature this is um, some life boys there so if you were to get into any distress you would simply nip over the fence which is ill advisable by the way I'm not promoting climbing over the fence at the quarry Staffordshire Council and all that um, f simply filming from behind the fence um, public right of way um, but if somebody was to get into distress at least there are the facilities to help out those in danger oyster catchers in the background you can hear them there. Oyster catchers in New Toxito, it's crazy, they're a seabird. <laughs> 